And today we're talking about the directions that you give to a voiceover artist or maybe the directions that have been given to you, whether you're recording for radio or maybe you're presenting live on TV or maybe it's a live stream for a YouTube channel or maybe you're recording a podcast. This is Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice. I'm Peter Stewart on Twitter. I'm Twitter Stewart. So the script should match the content and the audience and the reader and their tone. Everything has to work in harmony together. So let's go through that. The script should match the content. It would sound odd, wouldn't it, to have a script about a modern music festival with formal business-like language, unless that was part of a deliberate creative, yeah? And because the target audience is likely to be young people if your script is about a music festival, who will better connect with the script if it's written and presented in their language and style, stands to reason. And if the reader is also likely to be of a similar demographic as your target audience as well, and therefore the tone and pace and projection will also fit with the content of the creative too. Everything has to all work together. And the punctuation of the script should also match those kind of criteria as well. So if the direction for the presentation is calm and serious, but the punctuation is made up of a whole load of exclamation marks, things in capital letters, things bold and underlined, and actually you're reading about a sensuous bottle of wine or high-quality jewellery in your voiceover script you've got quite a bit of confusing dichotomies kind of going on there and it's going to be difficult for the voiceover artist to work out am I following the punctuation or am I following the words or am I following the direction? Things are confused and therefore they're going to be reading it unconvincingly potentially until they've got clarification on what it is that they are required to do. The reader will be trying to cope with those confusing and conflicting commands. On any voiceover script, there should be a comment by the writer how they see or or how they hear their copy being delivered. The kind of voice, the pace, the attitude and things like that that we've spoken about already over the last weeks and months of Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice. Tomorrow on the show, writing a script which you know is going to be translated as Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. Bye.